again my viewers and subscribers welcome back to Shirley D Dramatic guys I hope you can hear me clearly because I'm on the bus at the moment I'm going to my farmers market up in Camberwell and I will be showing you some contents from up there if you have not subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing like and share the video remember to hit that bell guys so that you'll be notified for every time the video drops i'll see you in the next clip shortly thank you got these lovely sweetheart cabbage these are really nice Tomatoes. Oh, my favorite. Oh, look at the size of these mushrooms. Oh, they look so beautiful. My mom used to buy these, my late, late mother that's no longer here. She used to always buy these big green beans. This is kale. Beautiful kale. Oh, they got the purple ones as well. Garlic. Oh, you're selling alcohol now? No, it's wine. Oh, it's wine? It's apple juice. Okay. Straight apple juice. Well, lovely. Basically, what he's done, people make it done, they've um, refined it. So, you know, when you go to a dinner party and everyone else is drinking <laughs> wine and you're the odd one out of a can of Coke. Exactly. They've done it. It's got very popular. It's <coughs> yeah, sort of selling for you. Look at all these different varieties of berries. For one of the better This looks like a gooseberry, but only purple. Gooseberries are normally green, but these ones are purple. Strawberries. Looks really good. Hi, I'm Clive. I run Mars Produce with my wife Deborah. Brilliant. Right, Clive. Um, I'd just like to talk to you about the business that you run here with your wife Deborah. Um, one of the questions I wanted to ask was, how long have you been in operation? We have been in operation for about 30 years. Wow, that's a long time. The farm even longer. Doing how, this about 30 years. But how, the farm's how long longer. for the farm? My children, six generations. Six generations. Yeah. You hear that, guys? Six generations. Right, Clive, what have we got here? Right, you've got English Calabri, summer cauliflower, jacket potatoes, obviously leeks, little baby wash potatoes, which you can put straight in the pack, basically just slice them and use them. Spring hispy. Spring courgettes, last of the Braben apples. Okay. There'll be Discovery soon, in another month's time. There'll be new season. Right. Carrots, onions, red onions, sweet potatoes, obviously not from this country. Peppers, last of the pears, because it's the end of the, the fruit okay. season. Okay. 
I think I'll get some for my dad when I decide to just pick up my these, stuff. These are conference, the last of the conference. Okay. Uh, and these are great. Right, That's okay. the difference there. English peas, tomatoes, spinach from Maidstone, baby spinach. Is that from your farm? Well, you don't grow veg anymore. Oh, it's right. It's from local farmers to me. Okay, okay. All in Kent. Right. Kent East Sussex. Okay. Cherry Toms. Tomatoes. Kentish new potatoes from my neighbour. Okay. Yeah. You don't have any red um, potatoes, do you? I didn't see Not any yet. red. Right. I'm sure I didn't see. Really? Oh dear. I wanted to get some, but they're a main crop, so you'll be get you'll get them again probably September when the skins are. Hard. Right. Okay. The skins have to harden on the potato, right. so when they're in store like that, all stacked up, if they if, if they rub these rub, so they would go off. Right. Whereas when the skins are hard, they're like bullets. Okay. I'm going to ask you another question. Ramley. What are they? Oh, Ramley apples. Ramley, apples. Ramley have yeah, cooking, cooking apples. apples. Okay. The question I'm going to ask you, the next question, is um, the location where the farm is located. You don't have to give the exact, but where is we your are, farm located? We are six miles, miles from Rye and about 16 miles from Ashford in Romney Marsh. What, would you describe your producers being organic? They're mainly small growers who obviously can't afford to have the organic ticket because you obviously have the cost and they get, it's grown for this. Right, okay. Um, what need to get to the meat? Can you just go down to the meat? Right. Yeah. And obviously can you stop for it. Your meat so tasty. Do you want Deborah to do the meat? Um, yes, Deborah can do the meat. We'll wait on Deborah to come. Deborah, we need it. Um, we've also got a farm shop called the Old Tractor Shed. Okay. And we source everything local from local cheeses to local wines, ciders, beers, all the meats are more, more choice than here. All the veg with more choice. Okay. Biscuits. Biscuits as well? All sorts, everything. It is. Wow. Wow. Local Chris, local Chris Baker. So why do you not do you not bring we some? We can't bring everything oh, here. Oh, you can't. No. Okay. So if you want the whole this bread, local bread, you everything. can maybe order. You can order these things and you can bring. Yes, them you home. can. We do a collection points in London. And come in twice a week, so you can order them on the collection points. Right. Okay. I can give you a ticket. That's the easiest one. Is brilliant. That's us. Mass produce limited collection points. And what we do there, we send out a list online, a comprehensive list of produce online, including fish and everything for the crawlers locally at Hopeston. We then you order on Saturday the list goes out, order by Thursday, then we we're in uh, where are we Thursday? Stepney, Stroud Green. Tottenham and Redford, and then on Friday we're in the Oval, Camberwell, at Ben Hill Road, and Telegraph Hill. Right, are you so you're back at the Oval now? No, 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 no we're oh. not back at the Oval. We do our collection points. Oh, Friday, you do the collection outside points. Mimi's camp. Right, okay, okay. Mimi let us use their area. Their area. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I've heard Let's of Byron. Start again. Let me start again. <laughs> yes, yes, I've heard of Byron. <laughs> right. So, um, basically. Um, the reason, yeah, it, yeah. the reason why I come here is because my mum used to come to the Oval when you had the farm market down there yeah, yeah. and uh, she was on her health journey yeah. but sadly she passed away yeah, so okay. um, now I'm just taking over just keep calming yeah, myself yeah, yeah. and you know buying stuff for my dad as well so yeah and your meats are very yeah, tasty they're very, Jack, Jack. I've not tasted anything like this when I buy from maybe Crystal we're very lucky, we've got a, a, a massive customer base, we are yeah. lucky. Yeah. And even when we, they didn't want us back at the Oval, even when we, when we um, 
we've done these clips. They all phoned up, they all turned up, all through lockdown. When first week in lockdown, as a pair, they all marked the shut, obviously. Yeah, we're the second time. And then we took, we, we took, there's a small farm, we sat down with their son, and we all said, what should we do? Yeah, we come up with these clips. But in the meantime, we had so many emails, phones, I was hearing from our phones, all our, local, all our regular customers everywhere. It was inundated with emails, can you do something, phone calls, can you do something? Wow. And then we come up with these collection points, so we stop at a designated area and they just walk down and pick them up. Right. Well, in Covid time, you couldn't touch the money, yes. so it had to be done online. Yes. You couldn't catch or a credit card you weren't allowed to use because obviously we talk, spoke to the environmental health office and they said as long as they don't touch anything touch the card yeah. buy bags or touch cash you're fine so they paid online so there was no money to change hands no touching but we set, set it up with tables at four meters two back to two and a half three meters so never we take it out the back of the car put it on the table stand back and then have gloves on wipe the handles Put back in the van. Oh, okay. So everything was safe. Yeah, That's yeah, how we did yeah. it. Right, Deborah. Right, come on then. <laughs> right, Deborah. You can. I'll just say Hi, your Joey. name, but you can just introduce yourself. <coughs> Hello, I'm Deborah. I'm um, with my husband, the store and our farm. Right. Um, I asked your husband up to. What makes your meat so tasty, Deborah? Well, we eat because everything is left. It's all left to be natural. We don't force anything. Everything is all the animals, uh, obviously pigs and chicken, um, uh, cows, goats, sheep, and everything is grass fed. Uh, pigs and stuff don't eat grass; they turn it up. And chicken scratch grass. So when people say they're, they're grass fed, they don't eat it. You know, they like to duck face the chickens and stuff like that. But uh, cows, sheep, goats are all grass fed, and everything is just left to have time. Right. I mean, we don't force anything, we don't hurry anything along. And then when it's ready, it's ready. It's ready. That's why it tastes so good. Right. Um, what is your take on the current challenges in the economy? Well, I think it's appalling. I mean, I think people are really, really struggling. We notice that. We notice that a lot. Um, here, where people are looking to make their money go further, which is completely understandable. Um, still wanting quality, but they're buying different cuts, asking uh, advice on what cuts they can do to make it go further. So instead of buying a pack of chicken breasts, maybe buy a whole chicken. Using the breasts and then using the bones, the stock and making soup. You can take off the, the rest of the, the meat and make a stir fry. And they're just trying to sort of um, eat things out. Right. I believe that would have been one of the next questions that I would have asked you. What are some of the best cuts of meat to buy for example soup, curry? Well I would recommend your slow cooks. Slow cooks. Yes, slow cooks. Where have you got any slow cooks? So slow cooks would be everything most animals have four legs. Right. This is the easiest way I would say. Yes. <laughs> most animals, I know it sounds a bit strange. No, let's and everything from the fore quarter, which has let the animal forward, is your slow cooks. Because it's more muscular. It's let the animal forward, it's done more work. Everything that's on your back where well, your steaks would come from, your leg of lamb, uh, your leg of pork, things like that, it's a quicker cook. It's not as fatty. So anything from the pork water, so you'd have your grazing steaks, um, you'd have your shoulder, your shoulder, your lamb, um, uh, dice that we do here, um, would all be ideal for slow cooking and for making um, either a, a curry, uh, a big meal, something you're going to need for that. Three hours, Three hours the same as slow cook. Slow. Right. Because it allows, it allows the, the muscles just to relax and cook slowly. Yes. Right. And that again would be ideal for soup. Okay, thank you. How would you say that a customer could save money when getting the meats? I think you, you don't well, briefly talk yeah. about that. I think probably sort of looking what you're going to do. A lot of customers do come down and they will buy um, at the weekend and prep their meals for the week. Yes. Uh, and I yeah. think that is saving money because you know I haven't got that uh, impulse buying. Uh, I mean you're coming home, you're getting the bus, the train, whatever, and you go, oh, I'm hungry, I'm going to go in and buy something. Really? If you've cooked your meals at the weekend, they're eating those meals because they're packed already. Uh, and I think that's saving people money. Right, thank you, Deborah. What are some tips and advice you would give to those subscribers out there who like to purchase or try organic meat, chicken, sausages, and eggs? Well, I would say go to try and go to the source. 
try and go to um, a farmer's market, something like that, and actually try and meet the producers. I mean, it's all very well, uh, and I know that's not available to everyone. Yes. Um, but I mean, even if you live in a, I mean, my, my daughter lives in Barnsley, and they have a lovely market there in Barnsley, where you can still speak, and that's in the middle of the city, where you can speak to sort of the butcher. Yes. If it's not at the farmer's market, you don't speak to your butcher. Your butchers. Because they will know where the stuff is going to source from. Yes. And they will then be able to tell you uh, the best. I mean, the supermarkets are not always... Not always easy to understand. Yeah. Yeah. But all One more question. Question. I don't want to take up too much of your time. How would how do you ensure the quality of fresh meat of your home? Well, it's all done every week. We make the sausages every week. My son makes the sausages. We butcher the pork to put in the sausages. Um, it's just this, this week's this week's meat. I mean, anything else is just not used. Yes, we're a small okay. farm, and it's just not used. Thank you very much. So yes guys, you've heard from Deborah and you've heard from her husband Clive Clive that the best place to source your meats or vegetables is from an organic farmers market or your butchers because they will be able to tell you where the meat was sourced from. So yes guys, you've heard it right here in Camberwell on Deborah's Farmer's Market. Well, you know what I normally order. Pork shoulder? Yes, pork Top shoulder. Side. Top side, that's right. Have we got any in the back of We've had only got that. Oh, you haven't got the one way. where you can slice? It stopped. It'll stop quickly. Oh, it's all stopped. It's all stopped because all the... Um, Touching and people picking up things and breathing things. Right. It all had to be sort of covered over. Okay. So that's the So I've got that. The only bit of shoulder I've got. And I have got You've you got any beef? That's what I want. Look, I'm looking for some beef. Just those bits, Marla. Right. On the top side, what you normally had. Right, okay, I think I'll take this one. I might just have to take this one. Beautiful. Okay, I'll take this one, Deborah. Thank you. It tastes good when you put it in the oven. Let me get my crackling sheets. Yes. I get that one. I want to get the crackling sheets. Okay. Very good. Yes, I love my crackling sheets. Again, I mean, going to sort of the producer, you're able to get things like this. Yes. Because we use the whole animal. The crackling's wasted. Nothing's wasted. We've got the tail, okay. the trotter, everything is used. Okay. We've got the pigtail as well. Nothing is wasted. Beef mince. 
Silvia, tu fatti con la carne? Una quiche? Tu va? La quiche, no? La quiche? Una quiche. No, no. E beh, e vuoi le quiche? La quiche. La quiche, la prosciutto e forma di no. Ok, grazie. Look at that, chicken wings marinated in Indian mystery. They look nice, but I normally like to buy my chicken and wash it first and then do my own seasoning. But this looks really lovely. Okay. Dinner. We're going to wash these and then just, you know, put some garlic and herbs on them and just roast it in the oven. We'll get some green beans. And we'll get a cucumber. We'll get some nice cucumber. Natural juices? You don't mind me doing my video? I'm a vlogger. You don't mind me videoing my content? Um, YouTube. I'm a YouTuber, so I view content and put it on my channel. So, um, what juices have you got here? Um, they are cleansing juices. Okay. So it's called life juice. Is, raw, is this you, you you make them yourself yeah. okay okay let's take a card okay so how much is it for one of these juices uh, this is five pounds but normally because they are cleansing juices you cleanse in a pack so you drink five juices a day oh right it, yeah, that, so it cleanse. So it comes in a pack, you can't just buy one. No, you can buy one, oh. so you can buy how many ever you want. Okay. But if you really want to do a cleanse, yeah. cleanse, you drink five juices in a day. Right. And then that cleanses you. And if you want to do a day cleanse, or two day cleanse, three day cleanse, then you get packs for the, for the day. Okay, I understand yeah. what you mean. And they heal as well, so they heal you with uh, high blood pressure, problems. What about... Um, what about diabetes? Yeah, we do you have got diabetes. anything here good for diabetes? Yeah, we do have uh, things to, I mean, juices to reduce blood sugar. Yeah. It's not here. I make that one to order because I do uh, custom made juices as well. So if you say, because diabetes juice is not for everybody, so I can't just put it here. Yes. Yeah. So when you ask me, then I. So I, I could place an order with you? Yeah, you can and place an order with me and I can, it will get delivered. It will get delivered to my house or yeah. to you? I deliver UK wide. Okay, yeah. okay, brilliant. You can pick it up if you live on close by. Okay. Yeah. I make it in Cumber Station Road. You make it in? Cumber Station Road. So 
Oh, Camberwell Station Road. Your time today, no problem. Deborah. Cheers. Thank you. Oh, cheers. I want to give you that to my YouTube channel. Okay, all right. Okay. All right. I hope I've done. You've done well. All right. I'm going to edit it. I'll probably put it Please up. Next... Edit it. I, I, it I, I, <laughs> I can't take you out, Deborah. Um, I'll probably put it up next week, but I will send you a message and let you know when it's live on YouTube. Thank you Thank very, you very much. much. Cheers. You. Thank you. Bye. So, yes, guys, I'm back from the farmer's market and I'm going to show you the few things that I purchased today. So we have here six beautiful organic eggs. I got myself some green bean, like my green bean. We also got some baby new potatoes. I just got myself this beautiful thick, look at that rim, I like it like that. Pork loin chops, that was four pound and 12 pence, not bad. And we've also got this chicken here. And that price was 10 pounds, 11 pence. See, mass produce local chicken. And then we got ourselves some beef, some topside beef, and that was 21 pounds and 72 pence. Yes, guys, it's a big size. I don't think I will cook all of this. I would probably cut it in half and freeze the other half. And then I got myself, yes, some crackling sheets because I love crackling on pork. So I got the sheet. Yeah. So, guys, I'm going to cook some of this for my Sunday dinner. And I'm going to cut up the chicken in pieces and cook that also. I'm also going to be using these potatoes and the green beans and other ingredients that I have in my fridge to cook my Sunday dinner. So I will come back to you in the next clip. So yes guys, you can see this beautiful beef, loin beef that I purchased from the farmer's market. I'm going to now cut this in half and I'm going to freeze the other half and cook the other half for my Sunday dinner. Look how beautiful that looks, guys. Look how beautiful that looks. Beautiful. I'm going to put this beautiful beef in here. And I will freeze that in the freezer until another time. I am going to cut the string that's on this beautiful beef. You can see the string on there. There's one more here. I'm going to take some of this fat off because I don't really want all that fat on there, even though they say it gives the meat a flavor, but I don't need all that fat on the meat. I'm gonna take off as much as I can. See all that fat there, guys? 
take it right off as much as I can. There's some here. It's just too much fat for me. Look, it just comes off so easily. I might just chop off just a little bit, just a little bit and just keep that just so that when I'm pot roasting it, it can give it a bit of flavour, but the rest, it can go in the bin. Uh, yeah, I think that's enough. Just take off some of this sinew off of the meat. Again in half. And I'm going to slice up this beef. I'm going to pot roast it, but I don't want to pot roast it whole. I want to just, you know, cut them up into pieces. It looks so beautiful and rich. It really looks beautiful and rich. So yes, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting up the beef off camera and I'll be back with you in a second. So now that I've finished cutting up my beef, you can see that they are you know, just not thin, just medium cut. I try to make them exact so that the cooking time is equal. So yes, guys, I'm gonna quickly wash this off camera and come back to you. seasoning off of this beautiful beef and I'm now going to pot roast it in the Dutch pot. Thank you. 
people I'm just quickly showing you the beef right here that I bought from the farmers market and caught the green beans and the new um, baby potatoes so yes guys it's not much because this is not my full Sunday dinner I didn't bother with the rice and peas and all of that dishing out I just really just wanted to showcase the beef and the potatoes with the green beans that I purchased at the farmer's market. So guys, I'm just going to quickly just cut into this beef. Look how it just pulls away just like that. Look at that, guys. That's how succulent this beef is. Really succulent. It just pulls away. Just pulls away. Look. Look at all of that. Beautiful. Yes, guys. Thank you. So yes guys, we've come to the end of this video. I would firstly like to say thank you to Deborah and Clive for allowing me to give them this interview at their farmer's market in Camberwell. Guys, please let's support our local farmer's market and our small businesses. If you are in the area in Camberwell, please go over to Marsh Produce, stall and even if it's one item you purchase i'm sure they would be very grateful guys i will leave the address in the description and i'm going to end this video now please remember to like subscribe hit that notification bell share out the video share it share it share it guys and remember to put god first in everything that you do i'll see you in the next one i'm out guys love you Thank mm -hmm. you.